Okay, so this is a product review for the kelp meal, and I use this. This is the kelp meal I used in my super soil mix this year, and I am pretty pleased with the results of my super soil. My plants generally did really well. There are probably some small changes I might make as far as the amounts adding, you know, the ingredients and amounts of the soil. I might bump up certain ones. I definitely feel that I probably should have bumped up the phosphorus in the soil a little bit more. It seemed like um, maybe the phosphorus might be a little lower than it should be. But this is the kelp meal that I used for the uh, super soil I used. And so this product review is just based on my opinion. And just to show you the product and how it comes and the pros, cons, and what I, I think of it. But here's a better look at the product. This is how it comes. I'll leave links to it in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing the product. I really like it. I think I'm going to bump the dose up next year a little bit on this. I'm, I think I'm going to bring that dose up a little bit more to my super soil on this particular product. And I have added it to water and used that as a, a conditioner for my water. I, that with a little bit of Epsom salt, and I let it marinate for about an hour, an hour or hour and a half or something like that. And I, you know, mix it up. And then once that's done, then I give all my plants a little feeding of this stuff. And I like this. This is actually uh, pretty good stuff. I, I will buy it again. Now, the only thing I don't like about this product, online they show it to you. It comes in one of those, you know, pouches that have like the gusset on the bottom. Well, this doesn't have the gusset on the bottom. Basically, it gets thrown into a plastic bag like this. And it's open to the air because there's really no way to seal it unless you... You know, you're going to roll this up like this and then store it like that. I don't particularly like to store my products this way. So I think they cheaped out a little bit on this product as far as the packaging part of it goes. But it's still a very thick plastic. So it's not going to start spilling out of the side. It's not going to get an easy puncture hole. I just think they should have gave you a Ziploc bag so you can seal it every time you open it. And this will last you for a while. Now, I used almost half of this bag, and I, I basically mixed half my soil mixes from my original soil that I was going to mix, and I bought way too much soil to mix for my super soil. I roughly used about a half of the package, and so far the results used in this particular product, I'm happy with. The way I see things is, if you use a particular product, and it worked for you, use it again. It don't fix what's not broken. In other words, I'm not going to use this product. I'm not going to stop using this product if I see good results. End of story. I'm not going to say, oh, well, let me try this brand this year. And you might end up trying that brand, brand and start seeing a bad result. Maybe you'll see better results. I like to work with what I know works. I can. It's easier for me to predict a growing season when I'm working with products I, I'm familiar with. So I, I am going to use this again. I mean, I'll have enough left over for next year's growing season. I am going to do a succession planting, so maybe, but I, I have like a 50-gallon drum filled with soil. I, I, I don't even need to mix any more soil this year. But again, the only thing I don't like about it is it comes in this bag, you cut it, and then now you got to figure out how to seal it and store it nicely. It's kind of, you're going to have to get a container and you're going to want to put it in some kind of a container, maybe a coffee container or something like that. But you do get a very generous amount. If you go to my website, you look at my super soil mix, and you look at the kelp meal in there, the ratios that I gave you, I would probably bump that up. I might update that next year. I'm going to update those, those ingredients for next year. So if you want to wait to next year and download it then, and I'll, up, I'll update those measures because I do want to beef it up a little bit with the kelp meal. And this is also by rootnaturally.com. That's who it's by. And again, I'll show you the... The, the label as close as I can and that's all that it comes that's all it comes and this particular bag because I'm mixing roughly almost three cubic yards of soil in a season so with that much soil being mixed you want to make sure you get a five pound bag and you want to spread that whole five pounds out I think I was a little light on this as far as using the whole five pounds but this time if I'm going to mix three cubic yards you're going to want to make sure you divide this by however you're mixing your soil. You want to make sure you use this whole thing for the entire soil mix of three cubic yards, three to four cubic yards, but this this will definitely do it and it's also good for a tonic in your water when you're going to feed your plants down the road. So you can see the the night the ratio on is one zero 
one zero to one point uh, zero to zero point zero to two point zero. So that's your NPK. So it's not very high in the phosphorus, but it's got a good amount of potassium in it, more potassium than nitrogen, which is good because a lot of times your soils will tend to get more nitrogen than they need, and that a lot of times causes the yellowing on your plants. You don't need that much nitrogen. What you need more of is the potassium and the phosphorus. Yes, you do need to have the calcium. You do need to have them feed it with the secondary macros like the, like the, uh, the magnesium, the calcium, and the sulfur. You need that too. But the other two things you want to kind of incorporate that into your, you know, your boosting factor is your, your, your phosphorus and your potassium. Those two are important. Nitrogen, not so much. You can always bump a little nitrogen here and there. You'll find most of the time that the other ingredients like um, blood meal, if you're adding blood meal to your soil, that's a late season nitrogen booster. You really don't need to add. The, the phosphorus and the potassium, they tend to leach out of your soil very easily. One or two heavy rains, it'll leach it right out of your soil. You need to add that back in there. So this is a good product to use to help add at least the potassium anyway. It doesn't have the phosphorus, but... I have other products I can use to add that to it. So anyway, that was just a quick product review for this kelp meal. Again, I'll leave links in the description for this, but I'll also leave you links for other products that I'm, I may try in the future, and I may do reviews on them in, f in the future as far as the kelp meal goes. So you're not going to see other products really, but you may see all the other types of kelp meal that I'm going to probably consider using as far as the brands and the size of the packages. Again, when you're, when you're mixing three to four cubic yards of soil, you're gonna wanna make sure you got a, a minimum five pounds, okay? You may want to double that if you're mixing four cubic yards. You may want to use this for two cubic yards. And if you're gonna make four cubic yards of soil, well, buy double the dose. Yeah, it's gonna cost you some money, but believe me, your soil is gonna, it's gonna kick butt in, in, right in, around when you need it during the fruit, fruiting time. So, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.